Good day, good day! How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And today we're going to take a look at this little bugger from Corgi. Corgi 109 Wong Wheelbase WB. And uh, this is from the gift set number 15, the Corgi Point Pony Club. All right. So as you see, I've got a couple of uh, different sets here and uh, a loose car that I uh, finally deducted that that was uh, uh, from this set, I believe. Uh, we'll get into that later. All right. So basically, um, we're going to start with the first model here. Um, now, this is um, one that I, I believe... I bought this in the wild, I believe. Yeah. And uh, this has got the original Corgi wheel on this one. But on this side, I put my O-ring, rubber O-rings. Yeah, they're missing all the other tires. So I put my rubber O-rings on there. As you see, we got a little damage there to the top on this one. And some other damage. Well, let's take a look here. This one... Um, now these are all based off from the, uh, what is it, the 438 uh, casting model, just a different color, this is a nice baby blue one, uh, this does come with the, uh, uh, this, uh, the, they, the later ones had a slash 69 or 30 something or other, uh, this is an earlier model, you can see that by the cast. Uh, spoke wheels on this one uh, so yeah uh, they had a removable top that just kind of clipped in there that was uh, the pony this is uh, usually a white uh, rolled up rear door on it has a big old honking hitch on it for the trailer a nice uh, blue color series one fried eggs on the grill other than that, uh, the front bumper is painted on this one, uh, on this on the uh, gift set number 15. So very, very nice, nice, uh, nice uh, spare tire on the hood. That's really cool that they say Corgi on those tires. Those are really cool. So if you're looking for original, that's what they should look like there. <laughs> Now this one does have uh, a yellowish uh, lemon, they call it, interior with a separate uh, steering wheel, uh, silver steering wheel that sticks into the, the uh, dashboard. Um, so that's an earlier model. We are looking at an early, early model with those uh, particular things, all right? Um, but yeah, very nice representation. Corey does a Corgi does a very good uh, representation of this. This is uh, not too too bad uh, play play wear, wear on it. Uh, you know, uh, really really kind of cool. Now uh, with the set number fifteen uh, horse box, um, it came with two ponies. Uh, actually, uh, mommy and a little pony and. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, whatever you call them. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a, a horse person. <laughs> an aquarian person. But uh, this is missing a little piece there on the front nose. Let's take a quick look at what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that. Uh, now, both these trailers seem to be uh, kind of the same uh, kind of appearance to them, the same uh, spoke wheels to them. So uh, I'm not really sure there. But the, it closes, you kind of have to lift up a little bit and then uh, lower it down. Uh, the one side is open at the door and the other side is not. It is enclosed. It does have a little door there, little horseshoe. Um, yeah, they, the horseshoe up. That's to catch all the luck, they said, uh, right? And that does say rice. And uh, that's what they um, refer to as this... Uh, horse trailer they say the rice trailer that's what they say and uh, I'm assuming that's uh, a trailer builder in um, the UK but uh, this is all metal uh, uh, oh yeah right there it says that there you go <laughs> uh, what is that Leshenshire 
I'm not saying that right, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. But that is the rice. Uh, and this one uh, does seem to have a piece missing. There's a, su a suspension piece that kind of holds things around. There's a black piece there uh, right behind the tires. You can see that. And this side doesn't have that, I don't believe. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there's a little pin in there for it to sit. But that kind of keeps the tires uh, down, you know. So anyway, so there you go. And then the back uh, also, oh, this one's got the uh, little decal on it. That's pretty nice. Uh, so you can't just pull it down. You got to pull it up and then let it down. And it does have uh, traction. Both both of these uh, has a uh, swath of <laughs> cork, cork on there, a swath. Yes, yeah, see that? That's a little tread there uh, to uh, make sure that the, the the horses don't trip or slip. And so there you go, a little divider. Uh, now I believe the mama horse was the dark color and the baby was the white, as far as I remember seeing pictures and stuff like that. So there you go, that's the uh, trailer for the first one. And so then the second uh, generation that came out and now this is, uh, my buddy of mine found this. Uh, I'm not really sure, and he paid, I think I paid him $20. I got, I got a deal out of him. But uh, he got this set uh, in uh, Wisconsin somewhere. He found this for me uh, not, not too long ago, a year or so ago. And very nice, got the uh, all the uh, wheels on it. So I wasn't too, uh, uh, you know, I'd had this one before, and I wasn't too... Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, hard on them and making a deal because it did have all its wheels and uh, that's and it's in very, very nice shape. But it is uh, what I'm assuming is the second generation with the concave hubs on there. Uh, the tilt is a little bit uh, tainted a little bit, but not much. It's still uh, white uh, with the roll up back in there and it does have the uh the hitch but it is it is kind of broke there a little bit i could fix that if i wanted but it did uh come with a good hitch on the trailer and that uh pinnel pinnel swivel there uh same basic thing uh this one now it's got a, a split tire so you know the horses must have ate too many oats and uh, we've done split out a tire so there <laughs> there you go but very very nice uh indeed very nice indeed I, I really appreciate that shout out to dave uh over there in the dells area picked that out he his job takes him uh, all over the wisconsin and uh yeah so yeah he gets to hunt quite a bit um uh, and so then I had this one here. Now I had this uh, table full and another table full of all my corgis. And I had this one sitting there. And uh, I'm not really sure where I picked this one up at. Um, but it was sitting there and I was trying to do some homework on, uh, uh, you know, what is what. And these tires were giving me a fit. And uh, I just wanted to pull back here and show you this one here has that uh, lemon interior with the uh, silver inserted steering wheel. I just wanted to point that out because now on this one here, we are a uh, little bit later. I believe this is from the gift set. I'm not, I'm not totally 100% sure. Uh, you know, it's very hard to do research uh, for the Corgi in particular ones. Uh, I believe this is, it's the same color as the, uh, the older ones, but now this one just has the whiz wheels on it. All right. So let's, let's focus on the whiz wheels here. And now you can see where it has the slash 69 and uh, later era, but this has got the plastic wheels, the whiz wheels on it. And then two, as you can see on the interior, the steering wheel is molded right into the uh, the interior piece it's not a separate piece um, so this would just be missing the top and the trailer but otherwise it's uh, uh, the same hue of blue if we can go along with that 
and I believe they made uh, this uh, gift set number 15 with the wheels wheels. I think that was a pretty good um, seller for them. So there you go. That's what we've got. There it is. What more can I say? Really totally love these. Uh, I'm glad that I've got this version of the uh, rice wagon uh, horse box. There is another uh, version. Uh, I don't have that one, but I do have the Land Rover. We're going to talk about that later on in a little bit. But otherwise, that's it. This is it. The Land Rover 109 WB whoa, whoa, uh, wheelbase, the 109 wheelbase. Corgi. Alrighty. You like those wheels? Oh, hey, where did my little thing go? I was going to show you that uh, what those size wheels are. Now I lost my little thing. Oh, boy. I tell you, I put stuff down and I can't remember where I put it down at. But anyway, those are gaskets from um, O rings. Excuse me, not gasket, O rings from the local hardware store. And. Um, they're like, oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> Got to keep this around so you guys can uh, go over to the hardware store and see if you can get them. They're 1 18th uh, inch thick with an ID of 5 16 and an OD of 9 16 And I just happened to buy them a hardware Hank, but uh, you can buy those anywhere. They fit really nice on the hubs. They're a little bit small, but at least they're not sitting on the ground, right? Alrighty, there you go, folks. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Yeah, join the uh, subscription uh, here at Roverland. Go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below. How many of these do you got? What else would you like to see? We're going to go through the whole collection. I got, I actually got quite a few of these uh, different uh, models and different colors and shades and such and so forth. So uh, maybe give me a hint what you want to see next and see if I've got that one. All right, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.